Come here, Rebecca. All right, so here we are. Hi, Abby. Hi, Sarah. My daughter's over there. This is my daughter, Rebecca. She's the best. We're doing our redneck farming operation today. So this is pretty cool, isn't it, Rebecca? Mm -hmm. Should we show them how we do this? Sure. How do you move bales without a tractor? I mean, if you don't have enough cows, you can't afford to buy a tractor. Doesn't make sense. But you can buy yourself. Let me show you this plow truck. Just hold on a second. But folks, you can't afford to buy yourself a 1995 Chev three-quarter ton plow truck, two-tone silver and rust. Oh yeah. So we actually, and I wish I would have shown you this, but I just took the plow blade because these bales were sandwiched so tight together and I had to get separation for what we're gonna do next. Rebecca, let's show them how we do this. Okay. This right here is a toe strap. Okay, now we may end up uh, utilizing the, uh, sorry, I'm not paying much attention to the video, folks. All right, so, but we have to just get this around. So Rebecca's just running around, around this thing, around the bale. We hook onto the ball, the hitch. Okay, hold on, I'm going up. Send it over, Rebecca. So Rebecca just sent it over. And then we got to get it down. The reason I had to push it apart is we got to get this down in there. So I'm going to pause because we're going to have to move this back and forth and get this. So there it is. We had to switch up toe straps because that other one was not long enough. This this handy dandy rope came from Olson Chain and Cable, one of my clients. Uh, we do marketing work for them and uh, yeah, and video work. And there it is. It's a nice nice rope. It served us well. Nice tow rope. All right, I'll turn this over to Rebecca, let her, uh, you know, video the bale getting pulled. Oh, there she is. You're gonna have to get to the other side of the truck, Rebecca. Okay. Because the light's all wrong over here. So swinging around. Here I go. My trusty steed. Isn't it, Rebecca? Yes, very. All the time. So now we're going to hook on. We actually want it that way because we found it better if we don't have to roll hook it, but if we can get hooked on the end and then drag it a little better. So if you can pause there, Rebecca, we're going to... All right, so here it is. We want to get the rope down towards the bottom, uh, but not so far it slips underneath because then that will give us a little better pull. I think it should be down just a little bit lower. Okay. There we go. All right, pull that tight, Rebecca. All right, see that? Just like that. And here's my daughter, Sarah. It's just sitting there. And uh, all right, we'll see how this goes. Abby, come here, video of this. My daughter, Abby. She might be on the front of the camera, but she can sure video. All right, take the, take the camera and video, and then follow the truck when I get going. We'll see how this works. I gotta go real slow, because. Eight. 
take my grass down? So tell Daddy when you're rolling. I'm rolling. Hi, hi, Abby. Abby's rolling. All right, Rebecca, come here. So my daughter Rebecca, she's always got her pocket knife. Sometimes I don't have mine, but Rebecca's got hers. We gotta get these, Rebecca. You know, I like the old twine better because, I mean, I know it wasn't as long lasting and strong, but that was the point, it broke down. This stuff is like made out of a plastic. So, but anyways, you gotta get all this off. You don't want the cows eating this, do you, Rebecca? No. The cows, you gotta keep the cows happy. That's how you keep them in the fence. And sometimes still they get out of the fence. 